Hi, I'm Ryan from the Raker Financial Products team. Uh, I'm just here to talk about IPOs briefly. We've been receiving a whole host of questions uh, post Royal Mail. So just to give clients a bit of an idea about what an IPO is. So an IPO is an initial public offer offering, which is a first sale of stock by a private company to the public. IPOs are usually issued by smaller, newer companies who are looking for additional capital in order to help them grow. More recently, we've seen a whole host of larger privately owned companies who've become publicly traded or express their intentions to list. So why would a company undergo an IPO? Firstly, to enlarge and diversify their equity base, enable cheaper access to capital, increase their exposure or prestige to enable them to have a bigger public image. Also, attracting and retaining better management and employees through liquid equity participation for share save schemes for a company, for example. Uh, facilitating acquiring of another company. Of course, there are also disadvantages to an initial public offering. So there's substantial legal, accounting and marketing costs, a lot of time and effort from senior management, risk that the funding will not be raised, disclosure of information to competitors, so their balance sheets and information that they would not normally be able to access. Shareholders also take control of a portion of the company at an AGM. How does a company go about listing? So when a company expresses its intention to undertake an IPO, it would usually do so with the assistance of an investment bank who acts as an underwriter. The underwriter helps with the calculation of the correct share price and finding a public market for the shares. Are the initially offered shares only available to large institutions? No, usually companies looking to list their shares often like to diversify their investor base, so ask underwriters to seek the help of an intermediary. Raker and other brokers offer these services to underwriters, usually because of their close relationships they have with retail customers that an investment bank might not normally have. So do Raker charge a fee to the clients for this service? Raker do not charge fees to the clients for facilitating a public offering. They source their fees from the investment bank themselves. And at Raker we continually update our dedicated IPO section of the website, so be sure to keep an eye out for any new offerings we may have. Thank you, I'm Ryan, thanks for watching.